How to Read the Night Sky We can see so many stars in the night sky, and we can't even count them all. In ancient times, people created imaginary patterns of star groups that we now call constellations. How to recognize the most common constellations? How to find a chained woman in the sky? Ooh, where? In this video, we offer you an amateur astronomy guide that you can use to impress your friends with your vast knowledge. Let's start with Ursa Major, also known as the Great Bear. You can recognize Ursa Major by the famous Big Dipper, which is alternatively called the Plow. However, you should know that it can only be found in the northern sky. What's interesting about this constellation is that many different civilizations saw it as a big female bear. Like this video, if you have trouble seeing a bear shape in a bunch of stars. Its position in the sky is highest in spring and lowest in fall. The story goes that in fall, the bear looks for a place for its winter hibernation. Ursa Minor, also known as the Little Bear. To see this constellation, you need to find another dipper, the little one this time. The main star in the constellation is Polaris, also known as the North Star. It marks the direction of true north for those in the northern hemisphere and the very beginning of the Little Dipper. Sailors used Polaris for navigation in the sea before GPS, of course. Auriga Auriga is the Latin name for charioteer. In Greek mythology, it is often associated with the Greek hero Erichthonius, who invented a horse chariot. Auriga is best seen in winter evenings. Cassiopeia Cassiopeia is the name of the queen in Greek mythology. She was famous for showing off with her unique beauty. Again, those living in the northern part of the planet are lucky to see Cassiopeia all year round, especially clearly from September to November. It is formed by five stars, and it's easy to recognize because it looks a lot like a W. Andromeda, the chained woman. And here comes another beauty. Andromeda was a princess who told the sea nymph that they were less beautiful than her. Wow. The nymphs couldn't take a blow that low and complained to Poseidon. The sea god didn't like that and threatened Andromeda's father to flood his kingdom. And the only way to save it was to sacrifice the daughter. Andromeda was chained to a rock, but lucky for her, Perseus came to her rescue. Ah, those crazy Greek gods. What are you going to do with them, huh? Formed by 16 main stars, the constellation does look like a person a little. However, it's quite hard to tell if the person is really that beautiful, as the myth says. Perseus Yep, this is the same Perseus who saved Andromeda. He and the alleged beauty married and had six children. It is best viewed from August to March in the Northern Hemisphere, and in the southern part, you can see it in the middle of the spring. Leo You must know this constellation as Leo on the zodiac signs. Leo is Latin for lion, the same lion that was killed by Hercules. Ooh, don't tell PETA. Just like Ursa Major, Leo was seen as a lion by various civilizations – the Persians, the Indians, the Turks, and others. In the Northern Hemisphere, it is best seen in May. Butis, or Butis, or, you know, whatever. This strange-looking word comes from Greek and means herdsman. According to one of the myths, Butis is Icarus, who got a secret recipe for wine. Icarus loved the drink a lot, and later invited his friends to enjoy it too. In the morning, the friends woke up with a terrible hangover and thought that Icarus had tried to poison them. They decided to kill him. So Icarus was placed in the sky. Wow, taking it a little personally, aren't we? Anyway, Butis is one of the biggest constellations in the sky. Corona Borealis Again, Corona Borealis is the Latin for Northern Crown. In mythology, it symbolizes the crown that Dionysus presented to Adriani, the princess of Crete. Well, we have to admit, it does look like a crown a little if you kind of squint. Are there any other space-related topics you'd like to learn more about? 
Tell us in the comment section below. Be sure to share this video with your friends to look up the constellations together. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. See you right back here for more of the Bright Side of Life.